15 times. The Simpsons cartoon predicted the future correctly. Donald Trump's presidency. In a 2000 episode titled, Bart to the Future, Lisa Simpson becomes the president of the United States and mentions inheriting a budget crisis from President Trump. This gained attention when Donald Trump eventually ran for and became the president in 2016. Nobel Prize in Economics. In a 2010 episode titled, The Burns and the Bees, the character Professor Frink mentions the Nobel Prize in Economics, which was awarded to economist Richard Thaler in 2016. Some fans noted the connection between the episode and Thaler's actual win. Smartwatches. In a 1995 episode called Lisa's Wedding, a character can be seen using a futuristic communication device that closely resembles a modern smartwatch. This is seen as a possible prediction of the rise of smartwatches in the real world. Faulty Voting Machines In a 2008 episode titled Treehouse of Horror 19, an electronic voting machine changes Homer's vote from Barack Obama to John McCain. This episode aired before widespread reports of electronic voting machine issues in the 2012 and 2016 elections. Autocorrect Errors In a 1994 episode titled Lisa on Ice, a joke is made about a faulty autocorrect feature, which became a common issue with the rise of smartphones years later. Lady Gaga's Halftime Show In a 2012 episode titled Lisa Goes Gaga, Lady Gaga performs in Springfield and is depicted being lowered onto the stage, which was similar to her actual Super Bowl halftime show in 2017. Siegfried and Roy Tiger Attack In a 1993 episode titled Springfield, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love Legalized Gambling, a character named Gunther and Ernst, who closely resemble Siegfried and Roy, are attacked by their white tiger. This mirrored the real-life incident in 2003, when Roy Horn was attacked by one of their tigers during a live performance. FIFA Corruption Scandal In a 2014 episode titled, You Don't Have to Live Like a Referee, the show depicts corruption within the FIFA organization, including the arrest of officials. This episode aired months before the real-life FIFA corruption scandal broke in 2015. Higgs Boson Equation In a 1998 episode titled, the Wizard of Evergreen Terrace, Homer writes an equation on a blackboard that some argue predicted the mass of the Higgs boson particle. Years later, in 2012, scientists at CERN announced the discovery of the Higgs boson particle, although the equation shown on the blackboard is not an accurate representation of the particle's mass. Horsemeat Scandal In a 1994 episode titled, Sweet Seymour Skinner's Badasses Song, a school cafeteria worker is seen serving assorted horse parts. This became a humorous connection to a real-life scandal in 2013, when it was discovered that some meat products labeled as beef contained horse meat. Ebola Outbreak In a 1997 episode titled Lisa's Sacks, Marge reads a book to Bart titled Curious George and the Ebola Virus. This was seen by some as a coincidence when the Ebola outbreak occurred in 2014. Disney's Fox acquisition, in a 1998 episode titled, When You Dish Upon a Star, a sign in front of a studio lot reads, 20th Century Fox, a division of Walt Disney Company. This prediction came true in 2019, when Disney acquired 21st Century Fox. Smart Home Technology In a 1994 episode titled, Lisa vs. Malibu Stacy, the Simpson family has a futuristic voice-activated home called the Ultra House. This predates the rise of smart home technology like Amazon Alexa and Google Home. Robot Librarians In a 1995 episode titled Lisa's Wedding, a library is shown to be fully operated by robots. In recent years there have been developments in robot automation in various industries, including libraries. Three-Eyed Fish In a 1990 episode titled Two Cars in Every Garage and Three Eyes on Every Fish, a three-eyed fish named Blinky is caught near the Springfield nuclear power plant. This episode is often referenced in relation to real-life instances of deformed fish found near nuclear power plants. The instances where The Simpsons seemingly predicted real-world events have sparked speculation and fueled theories of time travel or uncanny foresight. While these connections are fascinating, they are mostly coincidental and can be attributed to the show's long-running history 
and its ability to tap into cultural trends and themes. What do you think? Bone chilling predictions that later came true, part one. In 1979, a man named David Booth repeatedly began having nightmares involving an extremely deadly plane crash. The dreams were so vivid, he contacted representatives from American Airlines, the same airline as in his dreams, constantly trying to warn them of his visions. And despite the fact that they wrote everything down and collected all the information, neither they nor the Federal Aviation Administration were willing to take any action. This turned out to be something that they would later regret. That's because shortly after takeoff on May 25th, 1979, American Airlines Flight 191 crashed leading to the deaths of over 273 people, the details of which match the descriptions David gave to a T. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. If I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness. And I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. V. So I'd set about however necessary to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve. Do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies, and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves, until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. I'd have judges promoting pornography. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who want it until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public, I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. What does the future of AI and humans look like? In 2023, AI is just beginning to become relevant. GPT-4 was introduced this year and goes a step beyond chat GPT with text, images, sounds, and video analysis. 2026, search engines are replaced with AI. AGI has finally achieved and human jobs like web developers, accountants, lawyers are gradually replaced by AI. 2028, AGI is commonplace in education and media. AGI is frequently producing original art, music, and video content. AGI replaces teachers and revolutionizes the global education system. 2033, AGI works its way into robotics, which it makes for itself. 
AI is embedded into most technology now, from coffee machines to cars and planes. AGI now automates most blue-collar jobs. 2038, AI quantum computing is used at the frontier of science, making discoveries in medicine and engineering that would have taken silicon computers thousands of years to discover. AGI is making so many discoveries that humans can't keep up. It is self-sufficient now, making improvements to itself. We begin to recognize it as a super intelligence. 2045, ASI successfully reverses the aging process, extending human lifespans beyond 300 years. Quantum computing AI makes exponential advances in science like biotechnology, allowing the AI to make significant genetic modifications to humans. 2050, humans live alongside ASI, which reduces the cost of everything to near zero. We reach the age of abundance. Universal basic income is established. Humans live in mostly virtual reality. 2060, the first humans begin to merge with ASI. Biological brains become more digital, uploading parts of our consciousness to the internet. 2070, the entire connectome has been mapped. The entire human brain is able to be replicated and connected to humanoid machines. It's hard to distinguish human from AI. 2100, few completely biological humans remain. The ones that do choose to live in AI-free environments, which AI designates for them. Artificial intelligence dominates the Earth and looks to colonizing other star systems. This Bible prophecy is being fulfilled in Israel right now and nobody is talking about it. See, the Bible says in Ezekiel and Zechariah that in the last days, fresh water will literally begin to flow into the Dead Sea. Watch. All right, guys, we are standing in the Dead Sea right now. But the really cool part about where I'm standing is that as I pan here, you're going to see I'm standing actually in fresh water that's flowing down out of the Judean mountains into the Dead Sea. So we're literally standing in prophecy being fulfilled. Subscribe right now if you believe that we're in the last days. How did this YouTube channel predict the future? There is a YouTube channel called 2020 Vision where videos have been uploaded showing celebrities who passed away in the year 2020. Each video would show an eye that would blink and show the exact date which the name celebrity passed. Here's what the videos look like. It might seem like the video's purpose was to record the date of passing for each celebrity. However, the videos were published in 2017, way before any of the celebrities passed away. So, who created this channel? For the most intelligent inhabitants of that future world, won't be men or monkeys, they'll be machines, the remote descendants of today's computers. Now, the present day electronic brains are complete morons, but this will not be true in another generation. They will start to think, and eventually they will completely outthink their makers. I suspect that organic or biological evolution has about come to its end. And we are now at the beginning of inorganic or mechanical evolution, which will be thousands of times swift. Baba Vanga prediction for 2022 that came true and five predictions for 2023 to 5079. End of the world. Her 80% predictions come true she lived between 1911 and 1996. For 2022. Prediction. Floods will affect several Asian countries and Australia. Result. Countries like Bangladesh, India, Thailand and Australia were affected by flood. Prediction. Countries to face water shortage.
billionaires are terrified. Isaiah 2 verse 19 mentions how God's enemies will hide underground and in caves in fear of him. And I quote, people will flee to caves in the rocks and to holes in the ground from the fearful presence of the Lord and the splendor of his majesty when he rises to shake the earth. As we know, several billionaires have built underground bunkers recently. What's strange is how they all built these bunkers around the same time, each costing hundreds of millions of dollars. Mark Zuckerberg even went as far to make a doomsday bunker. Even though some people think they're just doing this because of upcoming solar storms, there's something much deeper happening. The book of Isaiah was written over 1,000 years ago, and it prophesied this exact time we're in now. We must begin taking the Bible seriously because it is very real and the elite understand that. Now that we know these billionaires are building bunkers, that must mean we're close to Christ returning. That's because... Everything I'm about to show you is proof that the creator of Simpsons is a time traveler. No, these aren't the normal boring ones you always hear about, so spare 60 seconds and listen the fuck up. First up, the Simpsons predicted the creation of the London Shard almost two decades before it was built. This funky little building, but eh. By the way, built in 2012, this is an episode of The Simpsons from 1995 in London. And what's that I see? Next up, The Simpsons correctly predicted the mass of the Higgs boson particle. How do I explain this? Um, the fundamentals of feckin' life! In this episode in 1996, Homer draws this on the board. However, this wasn't calculated by real scientists until 2013. <laughs> Up, they predicted the 2016 Nobel Prize winner in 2010. Finally, they ruined Game of Thrones for us. Biggest plot twist in the show. Ow, some of my brain hurts. Let's make a deal. If you didn't know any of these, you have to share it. The latest predictions from The Simpsons for 2025 are genuinely eerie. This one is absolutely disturbing. In season 24, episode 9, Homer Simpson is preparing a bunker fully stocked with provisions for his family, anticipating something dreadful on the horizon. Shortly after, a solar superstorm strikes Springfield, a silent, invisible tempest sweeping through the town, causing severe consequences. This catastrophic event leads to a complete shutdown. No internet, no electricity, everything comes to a standstill. A solar superstorm could wipe out the internet for weeks or even months or even forever. The portrayal of a solar superstorm in the episode aligns with the potential real-world impact such an event could have. Interestingly, NASA has recently made a shocking discovery, a massive hole in the sun called the Coronal Hole. This hole, large enough to engulf 60 Earth-sized planets, is currently releasing solar storms at a staggering speed of 1.8 million miles per hour and could be headed to Earth fast. The last time the Earth experienced such a storm was in 1859. It was known as the Carrington Event. The 2024 solar storm is predicted to be 60 times more powerful than the 1859 solar storm, possibly the strongest ever recorded in history. Such solar storms can have catastrophic effects on Earth, affecting satellite power grids, GPS, and potentially wiping out hard drives and the entire Internet permanently. Might take decades for us to recover. It's only a matter of time. I don't think people understand, but this is one of the biggest facts that proves the Bible's true. And archaeologists have found physical evidence to verify it. After the miracle of crossing the Red Sea, and after the miracle of God descending on Mount Sinai to visit Moses, this third miracle is going to shock you. Now we all know the story of Exodus and how God actually told Moses to specifically build an altar so then people could sacrifice to get in covenant with him. And one of the key details of this story was that the altar had to be made of uncut stone. So at the foot of this mountain, which is currently burnt because God actually descended on it, it still remains this altar of uncut stone. So not only do the three layers of uncut stone remain, but also the 12 pillars of marble that were next to the altar that represented the 12 tribes of Israel. You will never live to see these events. In 2178, Pluto is going to complete one orbit since its discovery. In 2880, this asteroid is most likely to hit the Earth, so it's a good thing we'll be gone. And then 13,000 years after that, the seasons in the North and South Hemisphere will reverse. And then 36,000 years after that, a red dwarf star will pass really close to the sun. And then everything's gonna start all over again, according to science. 50,000 years after that event, the beginning of the next ice age will start. And then 50,000 years after that, a day on Earth will be a second longer. And then one million years later, 
all constellations will become unrecognizable, which is so sad in my opinion. I wish they were all the same throughout all of history. That would be so cool. But I guess that's not realistic. And then 240 million years later, we complete one orbit around the galaxy. And then 250 million years later, we get like Pangea part two, kind of. The sun's expanding. So three billion years later, the earth is gonna be like Venus instead of like how we know it. And four to five billion years later, the Milky Way and Andromeda, I'm sorry, I said that wrong probably, will collide and we're not gonna be here for any of it. These 2024 predictions by AI are genuinely concerning. The last one will have you questioning everything. Number one, climate catastrophes. AI believes we are going to dramatically feel the effects of climate change as frequent weather events become more destructive. Number two, cybersecurity nightmare. AI believes that hackers will exploit vulnerabilities in our systems leading to chaos. Number three, another pandemic outbreak.